थैंक यू और राइट थैंक यू वेरी मच अनि नमस्कार माझं नाव मंदार गद्रे आणि आज मी तुम्हाला आपल्या सगळ्यांच्या आयुष्यात जी गोष्ट नेहमी घडते प्रत्येकाच्या आयुष्यात ही गोष्ट घडलेली आहे दॅट इज ट्रॅव्हल इन सम फॉर्म ऑफ फॅशन त्याबद्दल माझे विचार आणि माझे जे काही अनुभव आहेत ते सांगणार आहे आणि बघू तुम्हाला आवडतात का त्यातनं तुम्हाला काही शिकायला मिळत का किंवा मला काही शिकायला मिळत का यातनं हे बघूया आपण तर फार वेळ न दवडता तुम्हाला जमलेल्या सगळ्यांच पहिल्यांदा तुम्हाला सगळ्यांना थँक्स की तुम्ही आज आणि म्हणाल तसं जॉईन झालात ऑन अ वेन्सडे इव्हनिंग आणि एस्पेशली थँक्स स्पेशल थँक्स टू माय ऑल माय फ्रेंड्स हु हॅव जॉईन दिस प्रेझेंटेशन uh because uh, i have invited them and they they made sure that they take out some time from their busy schedule to to join me in this travel journey together so let's see so without further ado uh the first slide that you see on the screen is basically the motto uh, the life motto for uh, for which we actually live life is a journey keep traveling that's absolutely what we believe in uh uh j- just like we say right some people uh, eat to live some people live to eat uh i am like that i actually uh live to travel and of course i live to eat too as many of my friends know but yeah i i love traveling uh and the picture that actually you see is is uh, our daughter this is from our recent trip to egypt uh that we were doing an air a hot air balloon over nile uh and uh, this is her gazing out to those balloons around us uh that kind of sets the tone that kind of sets the mood for this uh, presentation uh now who who are, who am i or who are we right uh let me set the tone very clearly right from the start so that there is no confusion or there is no expectation mismanagement later i'm not a travel agent i have no business in traveling i have no coupon codes today for you <laughs> <laughs> i i absolutely have uh, nothing to do with anything in travel as far as the commercial part of it is concerned right travel is my passion right and of uh, as a as a family also uh, it's it's a passion we uh, we absolutely believe in travel uh, travel makes you happy and it really opens your mind it absolutely makes you a better person it absolutely makes you confident it absolutely makes you uh, you know handle your day to day life because of the experiences that you have gathered over a period of like traveling and so on and so forth it's probably a, a topic of discussion by itself uh, for an entire session what how travel helps you but that's one one line gist of that is travel makes you happy and opens your mind uh we are a family uh, of two technology professionals me and my wife amruta she's on the screen amruta say hi and of course we have a fourth grader she's uh, 10 of course 10 years old the one that we have we just saw the picture of and she is actually the teacher in the house she sets the rules we just think that we set the rule and uh, between three of us we have visited 35 countries so not really happy about that number because there are so many countries to still visit and uh, still counting and uh, too much too many countries too less time too much too many places in the world and too less time to visit that is what our attitude is towards travel there's never enough and uh, we always keep looking for opportunities to travel and this travel that we are talking about is strictly personal travel absolutely no business travel uh, will be discussed or dis- uh, you know um, talked about in this presentation today in case anyone is looking for any any of that uh, uh, you know it's not going to happen uh, in today's presentation and now the most important fine print i've kind of uh, touched upon it but a quick uh, fine print in a very big bold uh, <laughs> letters uh, this presentation is purely for sharing our travel experience experiences and tips with you okay so uh, we have absolutely no financial interest no financial gain or no, no gain whatsoever from any of this this is a purely uh, community service kind of uh, presentation that we thought uh, whatever experiences whatever tips travel uh, over a period that we have uh, we have we would like to share with you uh, so that it even if it helps one person or one family to you know uh, gets motivated to travel and if, if any of these trips tips and tricks and experiences help them in any fashion 
then I think we would have achieved our objective um, of this uh, of this uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, we have obviously we have some links and products mentioned uh, in in this presentation, but they they are just for examples. Absolutely no endorsement whatsoever from from us to them or from them to us in any form or fashion. No financial gain, no nothing. And it, most importantly, just because I'm on the others, I'm, I'm on this side of the table and you're on the, the you're on that side of the table does not mean we know it all. I know it all. I have answers to all your questions, or I even know anything. I'm sure there are a lot of people on this on this call who probably know way more than me. Just the fact that I'm presenting it today. That's it. That's that's all it is. So absolutely no no uh, false impression about myself that I know it all or we know it all and whatever we are going to present is the last word, uh, uh, you know, or, or, or is the ultimate truth. Uh, so please verify or please use this information based on, based on your judgment. And, uh, you know, uh, of course, if you have any questions uh, later on, you can follow up with me or, you know, absolutely there to, to answer any of your questions about the presentation or any anything other than uh, the presentation related to travel. Uh, so uh, setting the tone uh, with this, and um, as Ani mentioned, uh, you might have a few questions as we go along or something I say, which probably you do not agree with or you do not understand, or you might have a follow-up question. Uh, please type it in the chat uh, so that Ani can moderate it uh, at the end of the uh, presentation. And then we will try to take each and every question possible as, uh, as long as the time uh, permits. And if not, uh, certainly we can uh, connect offline and uh, you know, we can certainly address whatever you, is your question. Uh, now let's get into the, the, the meat of it. So the eternal questions, right? When, who, what, where, how, any travel, any travel planning, uh, ha, you know, needs these questions answered in one way or the other. Uh, and, uh, so the entire presentation we are going to, uh, the way we have presented it, uh, and, uh, uh, before, sorry, before I start this entire presentation, the look and feel is thanks to Amruta Gadre. So a big shout out to her. Uh, if it is professional looking, it's not me. Uh, it's her. So the whole credit goes to her for the entire presentation the way it is, uh, uh, you know, presented. Okay. So first question: When? All right. So when is a relative question, right? When on your personal side is when can I go uh, on this trip? That is my dream trip. Or when can I? really take time out. So that is your personal um, uh, side of the story and that you will know the answer for. So obviously I can't uh, answer that. But this when that we are talking about here is the when you, you can travel to a particular place or how you should, when should you travel or what, what things you should consider uh, while deciding or planning your travel. So for example, as, as I mentioned there, weather. Weather is absolutely a, a very important um, when, right? Because you can't just have your dream destination set and plan your trip and then not know anything about the weather. So for example, as I've mentioned, hurricane season, you, uh, Caribbean has hurricane, hurricane season, June through November. So absolutely uh, be aware of that. Everyone is aware on the East Coast, but I'm just uh, you know putting it out there. Similarly, Iceland, right? You have Iceland as your dream destination. A lot of people have Iceland as their dream destination. And thanks to Bollywood, uh, it has the number has increased uh, probably tenfold these in the last few years. Uh, Iceland is a fantastic destination for summer because obviously the roads are uh, clearer and uh, you, know, you, you get to see a lot more things. The weather is better. But winter is also a good, good uh, time to go, especially if you're, if you're looking for, for northern lights. Right. So weather in every way, weather is not only in a negative connotation, weather only doesn't have a negative connotation here necessarily, weather also has a positive connotation. So factor in every possible, just because some places, uh, uh, you know, very cold in winter doesn't mean it's, it's uh, out of question, right? There are some places, uh, for example, in Canada, there is a hotel which is made purely of ice. Obviously it's only in winter. Now, if you want to go and you can actually go and uh, stay there overnight, everything is made up of ice. So that is winter. So um, time of the year, cherry blossom. Japan is uh, one of the fantastic uh, destinations, right? To visit, 
what is the speciality of Japan? Japan is known for cherry blossom. Uh, the, the, the Washington DC cherry blossom that we have, it was, I think, uh, donated by Japan. The cherries were donated by Japan. So uh, that is the when I'm talking about, you know, so be aware of the whens of each destination to enhance your travel experience. It's everything is about enhancing your travel experience. The knowledge is there. The uh, obviously you will see tons of websites uh, giving you what you need to check, what you need to uh, see in uh, Japan or anywhere else. Uh, and uh, so, so Cherry Blossom is one of the uh, destination, one of the uh, springtime when that you should uh, look for in Japan. Similarly, fall in New England, I know East Coaster need to be told about it. The last one is a little interesting. We have not done this, but it's on the cards this year. That's why I've added it. Uh, everything that is mentioned in this presentation, we have we have been we have done that, or you know, we um, at least it's on the cards for us. So that's the, those are the only places we have catch uh, we have uh, mentioned or captured in this presentation. So lavender fields, beautiful in southern France. Uh, that is, but it's a very specific when for that. It's early July, so you have to uh, time it when for for lavender fields special events independence day in vancouver why why i have mentioned it here there because we accidentally went there we were i mean we were in vancouver and uh, we had no clue that it was canada canada's independence day and we were staying in a hotel called pan pacific right on vancouver uh, bay and it so happened that that is the play, that is the area where uh, the entire uh, you know the, vancouver's main fireworks uh, happen and we could see it right from our hotel. We had a seventh floor swimming pool on the uh, in our hotel, and we could see it right from there. Whereas there were like thousands of people, revelers on the street. Uh, so had we no, we were we were lucky to be there. But had we not done it, and if we were there, but we didn't do it, we would have been more like we would have been probably unhappy of not doing it. So maybe a little bit more awareness about when will enhance your travel experience, right? Festivals, Christmas market, beautiful Christmas markets in Europe, go for it. Definitely like Frankfurt, Paris, uh, you know, or smaller places, not Paris, but smaller places in Europe, beautiful Christmas market. Again, when. Come out, you know, festival is another perfect example of when. If you are going to Spain, right, and let's say you're planning a, a, a Spain travel this uh, this summer, right? So you are somewhere going, let's say somewhere going in the in the third week of August. Be aware that Tomatino is a is a festival that happens on the last Wednesday of August. If you can make it, try to adjust your dates. It's a fantastic experience to have. So be aware of such events in for for your uh, travel plan, and that will again enhance your experience. And that is not to spoil your experience. Also, is important, and that is that next item, which is political situation. You have to be absolutely aware of the of your destination. What is happening, Peru? Somebody, I'm sure at this moment is planning a travel to Peru, but there are riots going on in Peru. There are, uh, if not riots, at least some political, um, you know, uh, situation going on in, in Peru. So you have to be aware of it. It so happened, I think, a few days ago, a few couple of months ago, that they, they closed Machu Picchu because of these riots. Uh, I mean, not it didn't happen at Machu Picchu, but there was it was an effect of those riots. So be aware of those uh, those uh, situations. Jerusalem. There, uh, if you go to Israel, beautiful country, but Jerusalem has certain, uh, uh, you know, micro travel climate uh, and something or the other is always going on. Planned activity. I'm not even talking about unplanned situations that happen, unfortunately. So be aware of that. And recent events like volcano in Iceland, uh, there was a live volcano that we were able to see. We went specifically for that just to see the volcano. So when that was a random event, but we, we, we could, we could uh, you know, time it there. So uh, this is the when uh, of your um, travel planning, right? And uh, when to book, so this is another when, the different connotation of when. Our, our mantra is book as early as possible. It's, it's a very common human tendency of procrastination. You know, you will always sit on it and we'll, we'll, we'll do it later, we'll do it later, we'll do it later. What I do is understand where I want to go, book the flights first right and typically it's non-cancellable and that's the biggest um, hurdle in anybody's travel planning how can i commit to to this huge dollar amount right 
because depending on three people, four people, whatever is your party, traveling party, you are committing to that kind of uh, that kind of amount. Typically, that is non-cancellable. Flight is non-cancellable if you are going for the obviously the uh, cheapest option of uh, uh, tickets. Do it. Book hotels and cars and activities right away. Okay, because the, those are all non-cancellable. Absolutely, do it right away as soon as you do your flights. Do not sit on that activity because those rates will go up, and everything is non-cancellable. I'm sorry, cancellable. You can always uh, keep redoing it to get a better deal as in terms of money and better deal in terms of the quality. Now, coming back to the earlier concern of what if my trip, I have to cancel my trip. Typically, our analysis is typically these are the three main factors because of which you might cancel your trip. Let's say you've, you've decided to go somewhere in summer. What are the three main, I'm not saying these are the only three main reasons, but these are the three main reasons of your trip cancellation. Job related, let's say you lose your job, I hope not, but some, that, that happens. Or some health medical related issues to yourself or to somebody in, in, the, in your traveling party, or even in your family who's not really traveling with you, but uh, uh, that happens to them. Or even the unfortunate event that we don't want to talk about generally, but death or anything like that, right? These are the three things that typically will stop you last minute from traveling to or executing your travel plans. Most of your credit cards these days, especially travel credit cards, will cover these, uh, these events. So let's say you, you, you have one travel credit card XYZ. I'm just taking a random example. Chase card, if you have Chase Reserve card, you book, book your flights using Chase credit card something of these things, uh, one, of the, one of these things happen, you have to just file a claim with them and you will get the portion of your tra travel expenses that you have booked using the card uh, uh, fully refunded. Okay, of course, you have to, just because I'm saying it, you don't have to go and book your tickets now, you verify with your credit card, but this is a tip that I'm, I'm sharing with you. And why I'm sharing with you is because I myself have, uh, availed of that facility in the event, in this in some unfortunate event uh, that happened and we had to make some adjustments uh, to our travel plans. So it does work. So do not let that particular item uh, for, or those particular reasons for, stop you from planning your travel and actually executing it. And why planning your travel early is important because you you have to stretch your dollar. You, you, turn, you, you earn tons of money by booking early. So check your credit card. Most of the credit cards do cover these reasons. And of course, um, these days there are so many good travel insurance that you, know, you can certainly look for it. If you start early, your flight ticket will be low. The way it works is, and then even if you buy travel insurance, let's say it adds, let's say you have $2,000 of flight tickets, add $100, your total cost becomes $2,100. If you don't do that, and if you, stay, if you sit on it, Later on, the flight will flight uh, price will go up. Let's say it becomes two thousand five hundred. You've already lost the advantage, right? So that is what it mentions there. Savings by booking early can offset this cost, right? Offset the cost of buying the travel insurance. So think about it uh, in those terms. Buying early and maybe covering it with your travel insurance. It might look like a cost, but it is a cost that probably is good if you're booking early. So that is a when tip. Now who? This is an easy one. You know your traveling party better, but uh, I've just listed it out there so that I'm not going to touch upon traveling with kids part and what needs to be carried and what diapers and all that. I'm not going to get into that. But a uh, few things that you want to consider if you if you have if you are if you have adults in your traveling party, obviously, uh, specifically from booking activities, you have to consider their weight. Uh, whatever activities you are going to, let's say, um, skydiving or a hot air balloon, definitely ask about what are the weight limitations. Do not assume anything. Do not assume uh, any and all medical conditions will be okay because there could be certain things that you might not want to do in certain conditions. Similarly, for kids, definitely check each and every time, check age, weight, and height uh, uh, criteria for any activity that you're doing because that has happened to us too. There were certain, for example, rides in Disney, uh, where the height was the requirement and uh, uh, our daughter was not allowed to, to ride those rides and it was not a pretty sight. So definitely check. So then we, we could have waited for another year and then gone, uh, something like that. So that's why that who is also important in that context of travel planning and travel planning smart. The entire idea of this presentation is travel smart. You have to travel smart 
which makes your uh, travel experience enhanced and uh, you travel more because your experience was good. You are uh, motivated to travel more. Special requirements, wheelchairs, or if you have any other knee issues or anything, you, you want those uh, uh, specific accommodations. So if, you, for example, uh, if you see um, certain, certain um, for example, Airbnb, if you see on the screen, Airbnb has these accessibility features. So if you are booking uh, an Airbnb, you can certainly uh, use these uh, features. You know, selecting these filters will give you only those Airbnbs which have these specific features which are useful for you if you have anybody in your traveling party with any of those uh, conditions, right? So that there is no uh, bad experience after you go there. So certainly think, on, think over those terms. And uh, allergies, uh, you are all probably aware of your own allergies or whatever. So I'm not going to get into that more. Just one last thing, one last point on that list is check for house pets. So these days, you, a lot of people are using Airbnb and uh, VRBO kind of rentals. Uh, and those houses do have house pets many a times. And if you, you or your, anybody in your traveling party has uh, pet allergies, uh, that, would, that would not be an, uh, a pretty sight at that time. If you just go there and then you start getting those allergies because there was a house pet there already. The pet might not be there there when you are there, but obviously be he, he or she being there would have his or her hair there and whatever. So you got the point. So that is a quick who. Now let's go to what. The next eternal question. What, what, what are the typical do's and don'ts? Travel documents, be travel ready. The mantra is be travel ready when you're not traveling. Okay. Do not get uh, caught in a situation where you are leaving tomorrow and, uh, oh, I, I checked my passport. Oh, it's expiring tomorrow. We have seen so many cases that it, it is mind boggling that the, the travel doc document is actually talking to you. Uh, look, look at me. I'm expiring on so-and-so date. Just a matter of taking your <laughs> eyes away from your WhatsApp, the drunk uh, person you know, swimming on his head or whatever, and then looking at your travel document and just, just being on top of it. And thanks to COVID, these days, everything probably can be done online. You don't have to even send a few things. And so the, probably the processes have become better. So the idea is look at your documents, whether it's your passport or whether it's your green card or driving license, H1B, whatever that is, be on top of it when you're not traveling because you don't want to go into the emergency category uh, and paying more and that. Now, again, travel smart. Travel smart even when you're not traveling by doing this uh, homework of your own travel documents, right? And the last point is also very important. Consider getting your global entry card. If you can get it for your own kid, we have uh, the global country entry card for our 10 year old. It is a breeze when you come back, especially from a very long flight, you can actually see, uh, because you need, even if you have your own global entry card and if you're traveling with, traveling with your kid, the you're not allowed to go to global entry counter if the kid does not have the global entry card okay so each and every person in your traveling party has to have a global entry card for you to make use of that facility that's why if you have a kid consider um, even if you do not travel frequently let's say you only travel once or twice there's no harm the credit card companies take care of the hundred dollars charge or whatever that charge is so you actually get your refund back. You are leaving the money on the table by not doing the global entry card for your child. Okay. And it only enhances your experience once you have it. And it is there for, I think, five years or something. So it's not that you have to renew it every year. So it's free in a way, technically, because your credit card company pays for it. And it makes your travel much smarter, much happier. Destination visa requirements. Always check the visa requirements. Do not assume. There are so many people, though so many cases we know that people assume that, oh, I have green card, so I'm allowed to go to this uh, country. And then at the last moment, they, they get a surprise. Oh, I uh, oh, it's not allowed for green card, only for citizens or whatever. So stay on top of it. You can absolutely do, uh, uh, you can absolutely do um, your own visa. There, there will be, for example, if you go for Schengen or if you go for UK visa, there will, you'll see those um, service levels, gold level, silver level, blah, 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 not required. I'm, I'm not saying not required. Obviously, I'm sure that there are cases where you might require it. But if you, if you are on top of it, if you stay on top of your own visa game and start early, you will be able to do it. Because if you go with these services, you will pay a lot of money. Right. You don't, unless you have a lot of money to throw around, we don't. So we, we try to stretch our dollar. 
and try to do these things. And uh, and uh, the assumption is on this presentation, on this, um, uh, you know, people that, that are there present on this presentation. So there are different types of uh, visa statuses, right? Some are on visa, some are the green card holders, some are uh, citizens. Uh, so definitely stay on top of your visa game. Uh, if you're traveling to multiple countries, again, don't think that one country allows it, so other country allows it. Don't think that every country in Europe allows Schengen visa. Every country is different. Specifically, look at your itinerary, check the visa requirements for each and every country. Um, uh, last quick point about Schengen visa is, um, you have to be very uh, clear about what, what is your itinerary. Just because Schengen visa, let's say, is... Um, um, you know, or, or supported by 15 countries doesn't mean you can go to any country to apply. There is a very strict rule of which consulate you can go to. So be aware of that. You have to go to the point of entry and the maximum length of your of the country. That is the criteria. So check that. If you have any questions, talk to me later. I can definitely uh, you know work with you on this uh about about schengen visa requirements etc i mean how to how to how how can i help with the schengen visa part that is the what what other things is share your itinerary make a detailed itinerary for example there is a typical example here we not only itinerary is not only flight details itinerary is everything itinerary is your flight details your um, airport transfer details your hotel your excursions your car uh, right, whatever your maybe dinner uh, reservations, um, um, anything shopping that you need to do, specific places that you need to visit. Make this is just example. You can make whatever way you want, but put it in a proper, nice manner. And anytime you make um, a new reservations, let's say you have a car reservation that you cancelled because you got a better deal, just update your itinerary. Make it a one point. Um, uh, contact for yourself and at the time let's say you're leaving tomorrow all you have to do is take this itinerary send it to everyone in your party right everyone has whatsapp these days everyone has cell phone uh, smartphone these days send it to everyone in your party and uh, if you um, send it to at least one person who is not traveling with in your party right so it could be your friend family dad mom even in india or wherever your family is you can send it to them it is fyi emergency does not come knocking uh, 3 days before telling you this is going to happen it just happens and when that happens somebody has all the details of what where you could have been something like that so that is the quick tip about that uh, medical and trip protection definitely take medical protection uh, we have given couple of uh, um, we have given a couple of examples there, medical, uh, medical uh, insurance, trip protection. Uh, you know the difference, of course, but you can talk to me. What to carry is, again, very common, but we wanted to just make sure that uh, you know, these are the items that are listed there. If ever you use the presentation for your, uh, for, for your travel, uh, it's a one-stop shop for you. Last, um, second last point is particularly important for the people who have prescription glasses, right? Typically, if you have prescription glasses and if you're not wearing contact lenses, then there is a restriction of you going in water, let's say ocean or pool or whatever. You can actually get prescription snorkel or prescription masks, and those are FSA covered. So there is no, if you have FSA account, you do not have any, you, you don't have to pay for it technically, right? I mean, you pay and then you, um, uh, you recoup that money. So you definitely do that. And once you do that, then your child or yourself, you're free to go in the water as if you are wearing your own glasses. So definitely do that. We have done it for our own daughter and it works like magic. So if you need any help with that, definitely reach out. We'll try to uh, tell you how we did it and what is the best way to do it, right? Moving on to the next. Uh, these are few places where we have been, as mentioned there, deal of the day. Please feel free to contact us anytime. If you have any questions about any of these places, I'm not going to go through the entire list, but there are some very you know famous places and there are some not so famous places so you can certainly talk to us and uh, uh, the entire presentation is more international travel focused but obviously in the united states also we have traveled to few places not too many if you, as you can see uh, so those are listed there uh, look at it at your own ledger happy to help in any way or fashion uh, if you have any questions uh, about any of these places now where where the theme where is the where, where part of your travel planning always discuss uh, what is the theme of your travel now that's where the whole experience goes down 
right? Your traveling party has to be kind of on the on the same level, if not at the same level, at least similar level. About what is the theme of this of this uh, trip that we are planning? Our dream destination, Hawaii or uh, Paris or whichever it is, right? Because no, more number of people, more number of uh, uh, expectations, requirements. Kids might say, "Oh, I just want to lay in the bed and not get out at all." Some kid will say, "I want to be in the pool all the time." So definitely discuss. It could be sightseeing, like we do some of the sightseeing trips. They are, we are just doing sightseeing, nothing else. Or there are some relaxing trips, which are like Mexico or Caribbean kind of um, uh, uh, all-inclusive resorts. Just go and sleep, eat, pool, eat, sleep, pool. That's all you do. So that's like a relaxing. And sometimes you mix up mix up things, right? It's like you go, you do that relaxing day one day and then the other day you can do some interesting activities. So choose your destination and then uh, theme uh, accordingly set your theme for example given few examples there this is what we have done does not mean these are the only things that can be done i'm sure there are thousands of things in the world that can be done uh, you can very well contact us and tell us so that we can be uh, you know informed to and we can do some things that you have done uh, so bungee jumping new zealand uh, hiking in uh, indonesia mount batur there's a there's a little um, uh, mountain there called mount batur Beautiful sunset, uh, sunrise uh, hike there. Mount Whitney being the tallest mountain um, uh, peak in the 48 states, uh, or Mount Fuji, Japan. Snuba, definitely Great Barrier Reef, Australia, Australia, Hawaii, US Virgin Islands. These are the, some of the few adventure examples, uh, all inclusive resorts. Everyone has been there, so I'm not going to touch upon that. Cruises, one of the interesting is Nile River cruise that we just did. Absolutely recommended if you go to Egypt, if you need any tip about uh, Nile River, for example, one very quick tip. Now, these are the little things that matter. And uh, sometimes if you know that, again, enhances your experience. So we didn't know. Let me be very clear. Nile River cruise we did. Now, there are two ways you can do. Nile River kind of goes north-south in Egypt. You can do the cruise from south to north, or you can do the cruise from north to south. Either way, money or doesn't matter. The experience is exactly the same. It's your personal preference. We happen to do it from south to north. So basically, from Aswan to to, to um, Lux, uh, Luxor, right? And we did Abu Simbel. Interestingly, when we were doing it, it stops at different ports on Nile. And the way the Egypt history is, the way the temples were built, right? The temples were built and they, the, the size became bigger and bigger as you go north. So when we started from south, the temples that we saw there were comparatively of smaller size. And as we started going north, the temples became bigger and bigger in size. So the, in, the experience was much more uh, enhanced because every time we visited a temple, it was a much bigger, better than the previous one that we saw. Now, I was thinking in hindsight that if I had done north to south, the experience would have been exactly opposite. You started from a biggest temple in the uh, second biggest temple in the world. The Karnak temple there is the second biggest temple in the world. So you start with that and then you go south all the temples are smaller after that. Nothing wrong with it, but just an added little enhanced nuance that makes your trip and travel experience enhance. Just a little tip on that. So if, if ever, if somebody is trying to uh, book a, 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 Nile, a Nile River trip, and if you have an option, try to go from south to north. Basically start in Aswan and go up to, to Luxor. And then when you start in Aswan, definitely you can do Abu Simbel. Uh, I know a little too much information, Contact me and if, you, if you're planning a trip in, to Egypt, I was there literally two months ago, three months ago. Uh, it's right in front of my eyes. I can tell you everything that I did and which could help you. Um, where, where next is natural man-made wonders. Iceland, entire country is a, uh, uh, is, is a natural wonder. So uh, that could be your theme. Egypt, I just uh, touched upon. Alaska, uh, glacier helicopter rides landing on the glacier or there is something called gold panning you can actually go to places where there were gold mines earlier you can actually do gold panning and you get some gold from the it's a very touristy experience but a nice experience to feel how it was when actually there was a gold rush there so that is something that you can experience Spain Tomatino festival I just spoke about, about it a fantastic unique experience that you know that you have to do and you can do only in Spain you cannot do it anywhere else so that is something that that you can uh, target as far as your experiences is concerned. I just went to Cricket World Cup. I'm a big cricket fan. So I try to 
try to go anywhere and everywhere there is cricket. I am not successful all the time uh, because I have no money and no time. But if I had it, I would just do that. Follow Indian cricket team around the world. Uh, so anyway, so I, I did that cricket World Cup in London for 2019 World Cup. If you, if you, there is a 2023 World Cup coming up in this year. If anyone is interested on this call, I am thinking of doing something together as a group for Cricket World Cup. It's going to be uh, in the month of November. If we have a group, we can certainly uh, do a group booking. Uh, please contact me if you, if you are interested. And more the merrier. Common interest is cricket, so it it will be only fun. So I just wanted to put it out there. Uh, so the, this is where part is now. Quickly touching upon this unusual suspects with usual suspects. And what I mean by that is, if you are asked, hey, what is your dream destination? You'll get France. France is my dream destination. Where do you want to go in France? I want to go to, I want to, go to Paris and I want to see Eiffel Tower and I, I want to see uh, Louvre. Absolutely uh, no problems with that. And you should do that. Some people might say it's very touristy. Yes, of course it is touristy because there is something to see. And only after you seeing that, that 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 person is saying it is touristy. So there is, I am not at all against doing any touristy things, by the way. You should do touristy things at least once, right? But again, to enhance your experience, you should also check if there's any unusual thing or something off the beaten path at these destinations, right? So for example, in France, if you go to South France, everyone knows Cannes and Nice and, you know, the, the Riviera. But there is a little village called Grasse, which is the perfume capital of the world. If you look it up, I, I, I mean, there's no time for me to even mention, you know, go through that. But look it up. It's a, it's a very peculiar place where perfume uh, is the king. The entire world of perfume starts in Grasse. Look it up. So you should definitely think about certain such destinations in your, in your itinerary, right? So that's what I mean by some unusual suspects with some usual suspects. Similarly, Australia, Sydney. Uh, Sydney, Australia, Sydney, Melbourne. Everyone knows Australia is is you know you want to go to Sydney, you want to go to Melbourne, but there is Uluru Rock right in the middle of the uh, right in the middle of the country. Um, significant landmark. It's an Australian thing. You will not get anything like Uluru anywhere in the world. It's a very Australian thing to do. Very Australian experience to feel. You can go around it, walk around it. The entire landscape is beautiful. Australian outback. So you should do that, right? Uh, all other places I've mentioned there, Israel, you should go to uh, uh, south of Israel, Red Sea. So look at these places. If you have any questions about these places, talk to me. I will be able to you know, give you some guidance. Whatever is my capacity, I will be able to help you. Uh, and some under the radar destination, right? So for example, Kotor Bay, Montenegro. I'm guaranteeing you probably half of you have never even heard of it but it is one of the most beautiful places we have been to in our entire uh, traveling uh, journey. Budapest, Budapest, Hungary, beautiful city, so many things to do. Most are, uh, uh, all those places that I've mentioned there are under the radar destinations. People, many people don't even know about it or don't even think of those places uh, when they, they decide their travel. But fantastic places, highly recommended. If you need any help, any questions about these, definitely talk to me. And Along with the places, you can also add on some uh, different experiences to your travel itinerary, right? For example, in Montenegro, again, there's a beautiful resort called Sveti Stefan. Extremely expensive. I think minimum $1,500 or $2,000 a day for one room. So that kind of expensive. But you don't have to book that, right? If you don't want to or if you don't want to put that kind of money. What we did was we just booked a lunch because there are restaurants inside and only those people who can who, who stay there or who eat there can uh, go inside because it's like an island a small island look at look at look up sweaty stefan and you'll see it's a beautiful island just off the coast beautiful like island is also a big word like just a piece of land but that's a resort by itself you can just book uh, a lunch go there you can experience that and come come out no not much money you're anyway going to eat somewhere you can might as well eat there right um, uh, similarly, uh, uh, Philip Island, if you see the last part, right? about two and a half hours from, from uh, Melbourne, uh, absolutely a beautiful natural wonder where almost two, 3,000 penguins, about two feet tall, short penguins, right? They come out of the water, ocean every day, naturally stay on the beach and in the morning they go, go back from beach to the water. So in the evening, there are bleachers there. You can sit and watch this natural phenomena from occurring. 
So definitely add on these experiences to your travel, which will enhance your travel for, and it, it won't be a monotonous one where, hey, we, we went there, we ate, we drank, and we came back. I don't know what happens in Brisbane. I don't know what happens in Australia. Enhance it. These are the memories which will stay with you. Uh, what's on our travel map? A lot of things. So a few things uh, listed there. Few things we don't know. Twenty XX. Whenever it happens, it happens. Uh, anyone wants to join us? Welcome to join in 2023. Beautiful uh, Saint Lucia is on the cards uh, in few days, and then uh, Europe is on the cards. Some of the countries that we have not been to. Uh, if you are, if anyone is interested in this 2023 map, talk to me. There is something uh, very, very. Uh, 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 but the deal of the day, I can probably uh, tell you that. Anyway, so moving on. Uh, now the how part. I'm sure you are more interested and in, for the lack of time, how part. Best way to do planning is, as far as flight is concerned, in our, you know, in our case, we do Google Ma Google flights. Uh, Google flights, but definitely make use of the filters that the Google flight has. You can use multiple from locations. You can use uh, region as a destination. So, for example, if you look at the uh, here, right, where it says Newark. Now, in this area, you can fly from Newark, uh, New Jersey, Philadelphia, New York, I mean, JFK, right? You can put all those flights there because you don't care if you're flying from Newark or Philadelphia if you're getting a good deal. Similarly, if you see the two part, instead of putting a specific country, you can put Europe there. That way, because European countries are so small, you can get a flight to, for example, Paris. And if you, uh, if the London flight is uh, expensive, you can certainly go to Paris and then do Paris for a day and then go to London by taking a train, which will be few dollars. So definitely do Europe uh, destination wise. And then there are other filters there, right? And the one other thing is do not just go for the lowest price that you see on the on that list. Get into the details of what that lowest price is because a lot of times it is from a not so good website so look at what what is the best possible option not for the lowest option but best possible option even when you are estimating how much a trip would cost you right don't just go by the lowest because then you'll you'll your estimation would be wrong that is the point and definitely check one way options not lot of not many people do one way uh, because the, you assume that one way is not possible or not allowed but you will be surprised that sometimes one way options is mind boggling I don't want to give you wrong uh, impression, but we went to I Ireland. Three of us, we we took we paid direct flight from Newburgh in New, New York. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, not JFK, but there's a small airport called Newburgh in New York State. We flew from there directly to Ireland, both ways direct flight, pre-COVID. I'm talking about pre-COVID. We paid about six hundred thirty dollars for the entire flight, all three return flight, both ways. Okay, how did we do it? Obviously, that those are the details I can go on, tell you when I talk to you. But these are the things that you can get. So like, like it's mentioned, consider smaller airports. Trenton, there is an airport. Post-COVID, a lot of airports are struggling. But still, you'll the Newburgh, Newburgh Airport that I just mentioned about, Stewart Airport, definitely check that out. If you're Especially if you're in the northern part of the state in New Jersey, right? Check multi-city option. You don't have to take return all the time. Do A to B, B to C, C to A. You save time and money going from B to C and then coming back from C instead of going back from C to B just for the flight to come to A. So definitely check multi-city options. Check your bookings, internal flights. Sometimes what happens is, let's say you're going to Greece, you tend to do the entire booking together of, of your flights uh, from here to Athens, then Athens to Santorini, and Santorini to Mykonos, and Mykonos to another, let's say, Carfu and Carfu to New York back. Right? You tend to... Uh, book the, all the, uh, the flights together in one itinerary. Not required all the time. Sometimes it might be good, but it is not a rule that you have to do it. What The best way to do it is you, you book uh, your New York, Athens, Athens, New York, and then wait for your internal itinerary because that gives you flexibility to, to plan your itinerary and you can focus on individual flights uh, and get a better deal. So try to book those internal flights uh, from uh, separately, if it makes sense. So at the time of your planning, definitely look at that option as well. Don't just assume that you have to do the everything together. Definitely book direct flights as much as possible uh, because these days it's not a pretty sight to travel. Um, uh, if you have stops, 
we just had an incident where we lost all our bags uh, not our fault obviously but it happened so as much as possible go for direct flight even if it is little more expensive than one stop flights let's say you have you have a party of four you are flying somewhere there is a direct flight for $500 and there is a one stop flight for $400 so uh, for a party of four you are actually saving $400 for taking one stop flight i will still say go with the direct flight don't go with the four hundred dollar saving because you are going to waste money if something happens of course if the difference is too way too much then there's no choice so take your uh, decision based on the facts but the recommendation is definitely direct flights airport transfers consider your airport transfer in your in your travel costing one common mistake that a lot of people do is not consider that that part a lot of times, if you see between New York and JFK, you get JFK uh, deals, excellent deals. But the, what cuts into your deal is the airport transfer, because that's a classic question. Do I do taxi or Uber or do I, do I um, uh, uh, drive there? No matter what, you're paying a lot of money going there. So consider that. And if it's a matter of 50 or 100 bucks instead of flying from Newark, uh, then sh you should fly uh, from Newark, even if you're paying, let's say, 100 $150 more. So check that Costco vacation packages are excellent, little expensive sometimes, but excellent sometimes in, in terms of cost also. And generally those include uh, the airport transportation at the destination. So let's say you're going to Mexico or Caribbean uh, from the airport to your hotel. Generally that transportation is included. Very important because some new countries, you don't know uh, some of the countries, uh, everything is taken care of by the, by the, same, by the same booking. Uh, and you also get Costco also gives you Costco cash back card. So you actually get a couple of hundred dollars back as a Costco card, which is your savings. So costing wise, you should consider that. Special mention of JFK. I'm just going to touch upon it very quickly. There's something called long-term parking in JFK. I'm sure some of you know it, but some of you I'm sure don't know it. Uh, it is excellent. It is cheap, barely 10 or $12 or, or maybe a little more, including taxes. It is and there is a direct, I mean, there's a train you park, you go up, there's a train that takes you to whichever terminal your flight is from. No shuttle buses required, no waiting outside uh, facing the elements required. Even if it's peak winter, you can still go there. And it's a, it's, it's a great experience as we have done it in all sorts of weather. Now, what you need to do to do that is obviously go uh, drive there and driving through Belt Parkway is not a joke. That's where the, the main resistance is to go to JFK. But if cost is your resistance to go to JFK, that is the uh, 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 option you should definitely consider long-term parking. Because it is, especially if you're going for a week or so, instead of doing Uber or taxi both ways, definitely do LTP. Uh, it will save you a lot of money. Airline frequent flyer, definitely, definitely. Every time you fly, make sure that you, 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 you create, I mean, whatever airlines you take, try to go with local airlines. Like for example, for Newark, it is United Airlines. Try to create frequent flyer account, even for your children, by the way, we tend to forget our children in such cases. We think only me, I can do my own I and my wife can do my own. That's what you think. That's not, or my husband can do none. Even your children, every time you fly anywhere, make sure that they also get the miles because those miles add up and you actually start getting, you can, they can have, let's say 50,000 miles in their account. You can book your flight using their miles too. It's not that only they, they are going to go somewhere and only then you can use their miles. You can actually book your own flight with their mics if you're going somewhere alone or two of you or whatever. So definitely make sure there are some products that you probably are not aware of. For example, that Mileage Plus X, it's a United uh, Mileage Program product. What you do is you download that uh, uh, app. You are anyway paying for your pizza or Macy's or this. And there, there are tons of uh, merchants there associated with this. Anyway, you're, let's say you're buying a $50 top in Macy's. Instead of just giving your credit card, attach your credit card to this uh, Mileage X Plus and using that, pay Macy's. This is double dipping. You get your miles to use your credit card and you get miles to use the Mileage Plus X card, um, app. Why leave that on the table? No $0 investment from your end. Zero, dollar, zero uh, extra step you get double miles or whatever miles that they are. Sometimes they are five times miles, six times miles. So check out that. Definitely recommended. Try to stay with that same airline or their partner airline. 
even if sometimes you're booking, let's say your regular airline is hundred dollars, your other airline that you're not really flying, you don't really fly many times is uh, um, $70. I would still go with hundred dollars because I'm getting uh, more miles. I'm getting some status as I fly more. So I would recommend that don't go for this $30, $40 savings for individual. Think big, think frequent flying, think, think big, think smart. Okay. Um, credit card always go with, uh, I recommend going with the travel mile card option. Generally people tend to go with cashback option. I go always, whenever I take new credit card, I go with the miles option or the points option, which I can use for travel. No, point number eight there, I probably will need to take a different session if you're interested. It is mind boggling how much Chase Ultimate uh, Rewards uh, card can actually save you money and give you double miles. It's it's a big, big topic in itself, itself. So I'm not going to touch it now, but there is something called Chase Ultimate Rewards. Definitely, that's what, that's what I use. Check that. If you have any questions about it, talk to me. Uh, I'm little going a little fast now because of the time. Uh, I hope I'm not boring you, but um, book early, book directly with the airlines. There is, I'm sure everyone knows, but there's a 24 hour free cancellation. So anytime you see any deal of the flight, go ahead and book. That's what I do. Just go ahead and pull the trigger and then think about it. Even if buyer's remorse kicks in, you can still cancel it. Okay. But the deal goes, deal goes. So go with that, uh, uh, that mentality. Baggage, golden rule. Nobody can follow that, including us, but that's the golden rule. Don't do check-in, don't do check-in, don't do check-in, but you will do check-in. We are going to do check-in when we go to St. Lucia. But if you have to buy, if you have to do check-in at the time of buying your ticket, there are options, right? You buy a ticket with check-in bag, you buy a ticket without check-in bag. Weigh your, there is no one size fits all rule, right? So weigh your options. How many people in your um, party? How many days you are going for? Do you, are you, if you're going to need only one check-in bag, then you would rather buy tickets without check-in check bag options because you're not going to have four check-in bags. But if you take tickets, four tickets with check-in bag option, you're actually paying for four check-in bags. So do that math. How many possible check-in bags versus how many tickets you're buying. So do that math. Last, go back to the last point, partner airline. Let's say I'm booking a ticket. Uh, I'm booking a ticket on Turkish airline. That actually happened to us uh, using United Miles. And we have some status on it, silver, gold, platinum, whatever. Because of that, we assume that those rules automatically apply to us when we are flying on Turkish Airlines. That is not true. Turkish Airlines had a five pound or something of some ridiculous uh, baggage policy for us. Uh, we would have had to pay hundreds of dollars had we just shown up at the airport and uh, you know given, given our bags there. So be very careful when you're using your miles to book to fly partner airlines. Definitely call them and check the rules of the baggage. Even if you know, no harm in spending those five extra minutes. So accommodation, personal choice. I'm not going to dwell too much on this. We personally do not stick to any brand or any like Marriott uh, reward or this or that. We, we stay extremely flexible and it is driven by, uh, like I mentioned there, go with the flow approach. Totally depends on what is the theme of our travel. Sometimes it is activity focused. For example, Iceland, you are always out. Iceland is out, out, uh, outdoor uh, heaven, right? So you're always out, especially if you're going in summer. No point in spending way too much money on, on, on your accommodation. So that's where we look for a basic comfortable hotel, Airbnb kind of uh, accommodation. We are happy. Other cases where there is a monument or there's a natural wonder, we make it a point to have a view hotel. Eiffel Tower, pyramids, beaches, pyramids. Talk to me. <laughs> it's a funny, funny story. Uh, I, I, for the lack of time, I can't, I can't talk about it. But if you, if anyone is going to um, Egypt, talk to me. I'll, I'll tell you what, ha what we did with a beautiful pyramids view. Uh, uh, but I don't think anyone would do it. But anyway, so that's a different story. Going in a big group, definitely go for Airbnb. And consider airport hotels. So sometimes it so happens that you have a big tight schedule for your for your trip, and then you are flying out of uh, let's say Gatwick uh, in in London, right? Gatwick inside the terminal there is a very nice inexpensive hotel. What you can do is actually finish all your London slash England trip, go drive to uh, Gatwick and sleep in the airport, uh, airport in that hotel. I mean, take a room, and then next day you you're not under pressure of traveling. You're right there, right? So think about those also for one night, one night or early, or when you're landing there, you can land and 
uh, stay in that uh, airport hotel. So think about those. Uh, look for the accommodations with cancelable options, best possible cancelable. Most of them have, don't go for, uh, uh, you know, no refunded, no refund option, not a good thing to do because you always get better and better accommodations as uh, sometimes as the time comes, as the date comes near. Breakfast option, we recommend taking breakfast option, saves money, saves time. Uh, and, uh, you know, your uh, day starts with full stomach, much better experience for everyone. Uh, airport transportation, definitely think about um, some accommodations which provide uh, uh, airport transportation. If there are two or three, uh, you know, a few dollars here and there, definitely go with one that is providing airport transportation. Okay. Definitely worth it. And if you are doing Air, Airbnb, VRBO kind of uh, rental, please do not book uh, a rental with no review. It will be extremely uh, lucrative sometimes in terms of money or pictures. And I'm not saying all of them are bad, but you don't want to show up there and then the um, house itself is not like this. Okay? Uh, mm -hmm. So watch for that. Additional charges, as I mentioned, parking charges, consider if you're driving and any major construction work going on in, in or around your hotel. Sometimes good hotels, you'll see a five-star hotel giving a very good rate and you will think, oh, I got a great deal. Not necessarily because there could be some fine print somewhere which says, oh, there is a construction going on or the pool is done or something like that. So check those before you book. When you're ready to book, sometimes, for example, Expedia app gives you more miles to use their app. So if you're doing from your laptop, you'll, let's say, get 10 miles. And if you're doing the same thing from your Expedia app on your phone, you will get probably 15 miles. Why waste those miles? I mean, not miles, the Expedia points. So check some of these items. So for example, Expedia is just one example. I'm sure there are other cases like that. Some, people, some websites do price matching. I'm talking strictly about accommodation. So be aware of that. At the time of check-in, always try to ask for upgrade because you never know. You can you can be upgraded for no for no um, uh, you know extra money. Sometimes hotel is the destination. These are some of the hotels that we have stayed in. Highly recommended. Very luxurious. Sometimes if you want to splurge money, it's worth it. Marina Bay Sand. If you want any information on any of these, how was our experience? Talk to us. I'll be more than happy to share whatever experience I had. I'm not saying these are the hotels or the only hotels. I'm sure there are thousands of hotels in the world. This is what we have been to. So that is this list. Uh, possible options of transportation at the time. I'm so sorry I've gone about. That's that's and, okay. And you can continue. I think, you know, we don't have a limit. Probably Zoom's a battail, but go ahead. I think. Okay. Okay. And I'm hope, I hope I'm not boring you. So <laughs> a little fast in my pace, but I'm aware of the time also. Uh, anyway, so possible options of transportation. Typically, um, these are the options. Oops, train, bus, rental car, RV, taxi, Uber. You think about all these options, right? It's, um, for example, uh, we prefer renting a car wherever possible, especially in Europe or any uh, countries like Australia, New Zealand, England. We, uh, I mean, England is in Europe, of course, but um, any such places, we definitely recommend renting car, renting a car. We have rented a car almost every time, couple of exceptions, but almost every time. And then as a lot, everything else, you know, the last part is sometimes you can do things that you otherwise cannot do. For example, when we went to Switzerland, we could be Furka Pass. There's a pass called Furka Pass near St. Moritz. Look it up. Those who like driving in this presentation, those who are, who are here, uh, you will love driving on full pass, but you can do it only when you have a car because generally you would tend to uh, it, it tends you know you tend to do trains when you go to Europe. I'm not against trains in Europe. My personal preference in Europe, especially, is car. And you can talk to me offline, and I I will go on and on on that. So moving on to the next. Uh, of course, there are some downsides of uh, renting a car. You have to look for left-hand side, right-hand side um, confusion, especially, uh, you know, in uh, India, Australia, New Zealand, England kind of places where they wrong side uh, uh, <laughs> uh, driving. Uh, but I, it, it's not that bad. If you don't think it's not that bad at all, you can do it just like this. We did it. There are no issues. Parking issue, etc. You know about it. These are the rental pickup. If you are doing a rental car pickup, definitely go through this list. These are the quick checks that you need to do at the time of pickup for all, your own good. I'm not going to go into these details. They are pretty uh, self-explanatory, but definitely do the rental pickup checklist. Have this little cheat sheet with you. Just do this. Your experience will not at least be bad, if not better. 
trains we haven't used much whatever we have used were excellent in italy especially we could buy a first class ticket not business class a first class ticket for a dirt cheap price that was the uh, uh, um, uh, website we used at that time a very old story but still generally two months before your priority time check be on the lookout you'll get an excellent deal business class or first class also at a very cheap price uh any questions around that please contact us i will be more than happy to talk about it buses i have not used almost not used at all only once from budapest uh, from vienna airport to budapest excellent bus that flex bus we actually got a deal uh, about 10 dollars a person including wifi and bottle of water which was mind boggling right out, right from the vienna airport to the center of budapest so there are such deals to be had think about these if you're not a very car person these are the things you should think about it uber taxi obviously you use so nothing to talk about it but also look for local uh, uber or taxis right where for example if you look at the second example four taxi when we did budapest uh, we didn't rent a car but we just did taxi and we used that app there it was very good we did rv in alaska typically alaska people do cruises and i'm not against that i'm sure i have not done it so i don't know good or bad but i'm sure it is good what we did was an rv right from the south to the north part of uh, alaska the entire sit the entire state we did using rv on our own it was a fantastic mind boggling experience and there were amazing deals going on i will share those details with you later if, you, if anyone is interested uh and it, it will save you tons of money and a completely different experience especially if you have enough time on your hand it is a fantastic experience ferry again not many times i've used but inter island greek for especially greek islands if you have uh, any plans to go to greece uh i will definitely recommend thinking about that um, um, ferry or any, any other ferry they have uh, high speed ferries so you can make use of those and just a couple of points at the bottom hotels do provide port pickups also so don't just think that uh, hotels just provide airport pickups but they have port pickups also some some of the hotels so think about those when you talk when you um, book a accommodation at these four points and rental car companies also have uh, port locations not only that you can pay, you can rent from airport and drop it at the port also so consider all those accommodation combinations uh, if you are doing a ferry and activities again standard i don't think this is a hugely different uh, uh, knowledge that you probably already have these are the typical airbnb.com has very some very good unique experiences uh, third point is important sometimes you have your preferred uh, website let's say i do everything on trip advisor is what somebody will say but you will probably see sometimes the same experience or same excursion is available on let's say viator or expedia for a cheaper price F from the exact same provider so although you like one particular website for your activities definitely at least look at comparing uh, you know comparable activities on other website and you might save money sometimes uh, or the terms and conditions could be different on one website they can say non refundable but exact same activity could be refundable on the other website so obviously you should go for the refundable option I so like the little once is there most of these are fully cancelable for up to 24 hours before the start time so definitely go ahead even if you are going in september for example somewhere and you want to do some activity book it now no harm you are not even paying for that activity what's the what are you waiting for so book early book early book early is the mantra uh, popular places eiffel tower louvre uh, or any of these specific high demand places if there is a skip the line option especially if you are going in summer or high whatever peak time of that place i would recommend doing skip the line because yes you will spend some money especially if you have kids with you you will be thankful to yourself that i spent out those extra 100 dollars but uh, um uh, you 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 will the experience that you get will be fantastic and um, last it's just a personal uh, tip avoid scheduling an activity on the day of the arrival or of the day of the departure you do tend departure is still okay because you're already there but on the day of the arrival it sometimes happens especially if you're a long flight avoid doing it on the day of the arrival oh i'm reaching in the morning at 11 o'clock and i have a 4 o'clock uh, uh, whatever excursion not a good idea these days so try to avoid that uh, uh, and if you if you have a long flight let's say you have 10 15 hours flight and if you're reaching in the night then avoid having a scheduled activity on the morning of the next day not a good idea again again tip obviously uh, it, everything is different for different people so that's about it i'm extremely sorry for going 10 minutes over but i just wanted to cover whatever 
you know, I wanted to share with you a few things. Obviously, I have not covered, but for the lack of time, but uh, we would absolutely love, uh, you know, your feedback. Those those are the places you can connect us with. Uh, these are full disclaimer. We have actually created these both Facebook uh, pages and Instagram today. There's nothing there. Don't go there with lots of information. I'll get a lot of information. We are going to put few as and when we can get time there, but you can connect us, connect with us there, right? If you have any questions, any follow-ups from today's presentation or any other thing that you might want uh, uh, to us to ask, definitely reach us through that and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, uh, and if you didn't like a few of the things, if you didn't like something I said, please, uh, you know, uh, have your word there. I would definitely improve myself next time and avoid those mistakes, avoid saying those words, avoid saying those things uh, in case it is offending anyone uh, or something that I should have said in a different way. I will definitely do that. But uh, that's about it from now. Thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your time and listening to me very patiently. Uh, uh, Thank you, Mandar. That was fantastic. I'm scrolling through the comments. Excellent job in putting together the presentation and a crisp articulation. You know, to Jema travel badal bola laglas, we could see ki tu kasa charge up photo, yes, any charge up photo, yes, any, you know, you went from like zero to 10 to 20 to 50 to 100, other 150 were to end kill us, which is yes. fantastic. Yes. I think, I think we kai questions na, uh, I will try to, you know, uh, ask you. Of course, uh, I know we are. We have exceeded our time, but let, let's see what we can get through. Yes. Um, and uh, sorry, one thing. I think, Ani, this is this presentation is, I mean, this whole thing is recorded and you're going it, to put it, it is it recorded. On, so, and you're going to put it on YouTube, right? Yes, it, it will go on YouTube. So, Mandarla uh, Tumala, maybe, you know, YouTube or the video, Jema Yail, Tema, Tala, half a speed were run Kara, Karan Mandar Kaika Sangit like, and you order information Sangit like, you know, it's it's a lot to catch up. Um, and definitely a lot of good pointers. Uh, so, and, and we'll also put this presentation on this Facebook page and whatever Insta, whatever. Act so actually, Mandar, to uh, mala email pan kar, manje, I can attach it maybe with the thing. So, you know, Janni Kuni attend kele tana sagranas mele. Yes, yes. We will definitely um, share this presentation. Uh, perfect. So, uh, Technical questions ka yahe ki medical and medical insurance and medical travel insurance. What is the difference in the coverage? Do you know so, that? Or is that something you can comment on? Yes, absolutely. So travel insurance is um, uh, generally covered by your credit card. So I would recommend not to buy it separately uh, as far as the for your basic huh? trip protection. Okay, so most of it is covered. And I'll give you an example. Um, um, we had gone to um, Italy on the way. We had a stop, and uh, uh, our daughter's uh, she was an in stroller at that time. Uh, it, it it kind of got lost in transit at the stop or uh, airport. We landed at Rome. We didn't get our stroller. We called our credit card company from there. They have a policy of six hours. I, I had at least at that time six hours policy. If you don't get what you uh, if you have lost, you can claim. All we did was waited for six hours. We went to the shop, bought a new stroller, used it. And it was paid for by a credit card. So I would say, that, and that's why you, and I, very important point I did not cover, which if, Ani, is it okay if I cover one point? Sure, sure. Yeah. So there are some credit cards, for example, Chase or American Express, or I think even MasterCard, I think has some, which are very high value, uh, high uh, uh, yearly fees credit card. One that I am actually personally carrying it called Chase Reserve. I, I don't think it is there anywhere or something similar product is there. The yearly fees is something like $500 or $600. I did not touch upon that. I'm, I'm sorry about it. But very important, very, very important point is if you if you can definitely invest in that kind of a credit card for multiple reasons. Reason number one, for example, when I when I go, went for that credit card, which is reserve, uh, it was a $525 a year fee, huge fee. It, it, it is, um, you know, it, little repellent. You know, oh, how much? No, but the, 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 de the de details are very important. They were giving $300 credit of travel. Any, any travel expense that you'd make using that credit card, you get that $300 back. So that means 525 minus 300. So my total came down to 225 technically. 
Number two, uh, every every dollar you spend, we were getting three miles or four miles, right? Huge difference, huge. Because uh, for, and not only for air travel, for food, for uh, gas and like four, five regular categories. So you, yeah. which is a great, so look for such, uh, look for such products. And third, very important again, especially these days, it gave us the, uh, and I it's mentioned somewhere in my presentation, it, it gave us the uh, access to priority pass free of charge. Look up, if you don't know about priority pass, there is a prioritypass.com website, which is a independent product by itself. And then these credit card companies kind of work with them. Everywhere now we go, any airport, almost any airport, any major airport in the world has a lounge that is covered by priority pass. And we got it free of charge because of the uh, credit card that we had. So now, the ent again, the, uh, I'm coming back to my original motto of travel smart and make sure you're traveling smart by not spending too much money, but you, you are enhancing your experience. And it, this actually has enhanced our experience to the level where our doctor now doesn't know that you can actually wait in the normal chair in, at the airport because every airport we go to, we have a lounge waiting for us. And that does not mean that we spend tons of money or we have a lot of money to spend. It's a simple travel trick where you go with a credit card, which has a higher yearly fees. Probably you feel, uh, feel the pinch at that point in time. But if you're traveling, even if two or three times a year, it is, it will pay for itself. And the experience doesn't have a value on it, right? The bad experience will always have a value on it. You, if you walk back from your trip uh, with a bad experience, it, I don't want, I don't think you'll like that. So, yeah. so sorry, I kind of digressed, but that is your travel travel. No, that's 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 a great point, right? And I mean, 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 you need to look at the finer details of what yes. it provides, right? Yes. And the same thing goes for the locations that you go to, because each place is unique. To me, Europe mother gala ter sutte paise thevai la paise. Current tumala bathroom la daise. Tumala pani paise. Everything costs money. Right. Yeah. So simple, simple But like everything, you need to research that and yeah. you need to spend some time doing that. So to yeah. idea so I would ki ticket gya, ma research start kara. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah. And secondly, uh, sorry to answer that original question. Medical insurance is something that is not covered by your credit card most of the times. Correct. I don't know if there is a product credit card that covers it, but I as far as I know, it doesn't. So that covers the your if some if something goes wrong with you medically or health wise at the time at the at your destination, including evacuation. Sometimes okay. you need to be evacuated. Those costs are humongous. I would definitely recommend. And generally, I I go with a higher option. Or uh, I mean, I've given the website. Uh, check those. You know, uh, it, it's not that bad. You you pay probably fifty bucks, hundred bucks. It's that simple. But definitely recommend it. You know, worth putting that hundred dollars and forgetting about it. And in the worst case, you are covered for. And, and these days, I think they include COVID also. So uh, medical exp medical insurance to answer the uh, question in two lines: travel uh, ins uh, uh, trip uh, insurance. Check with your credit card. If they don't provide it, then you buy separately. Uh, medical, you have to. You should not. You have to, but you should buy. By by whichever product you want to buy, but you should buy and have it with you. Okay, perfect. Uh, I have two questions that me kind of some. One or two, and two you can try to you know answer them quickly. Can I apply the answer? Sure. Firstly, question. I mean, rather, what phone do you suggest? He internationally plan basically. Verizon, sir, any option I can give answer. I know for a fact that T-Mobile has a data plan. Globally, pretty much globally. You have India, you have data plan, you have 3G, which is okay. Yes. So, you have WhatsApp or calls. So, that would be my recommendation. But again, every provider has um, options. Verizon has options. Yeah. Just going back to that question, you have asked me, or other questions, you have asked me, global entry is not a pre-TSA, TSA, TSA pre-check. So TSA pre-check is included in global entry. That was that's why we very recommended global entry. So you get to do that while leaving the airport and while coming back to the airport. Okay. So that's why go with global entry. Okay. Ani, Perfect. Ha, ani, ha, ani, that's a beauty of yeah, I, I, you everyone should do it because as I said uh, during the presentation, your credit card pays for it. There's a there's a hundred dollars fees. It is almost every credit card pays for it. All you do is, I mean, obviously you pay for it and then you claim with your credit card. So it's technically it's free for you. 
and you don't have to do anything the online application that you have to just go and fill it in they call you for the uh, interview which you can say you don't want to go to the interview specifically all you do is when you go when you travel internationally right when you come back there is a there is a separate counter right in the immigration area there is a separate counter for global entry you do your immigration first time i'm saying you do your immigration when your global entry application is approved right it is subject to approval kind of when it is approved subject to the interview so there are two options either you specifically go for an interview or when you are when you do your international travel and when you come back at that time like i said in after after you do your immigration there's a separate counter you go to that counter that person just asks you a couple of questions i mean an immigration officer will ask you a couple of questions and your card is approved there and then you get it in the mail within 4 5 days a week or whatever that's it that's as simple as that nice yeah uh, itinerary डिजिटल फॉर्मैट मध्य मैनेज करायलाकेशन है सो हियर इज द थिंग आई एम शुअर देर आर आई एम नॉट सेंग देर आर नन आई यूज नोट पैड लिटरली लिटरली नोट पैड एंड इट वर्क लाइक मैजिक बिकॉज इट इज सिंपल टू मेन्टेन सिंपल टू यूज सो आई यूज नोट पैड दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट इज द वे टू गो सो दैट्स वाई आई डोट नो अबाउट एनी सच एप्स आई एम श्योर देर आर दिस बट आई अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई डोट नो बिकॉज आई यूज नोट पैड इन्फॉर्मेशन दे विल ऑर्गनाइज इट बेटर देन यू कैन यु नो एंड विल बी वेरी एंगेज टेलिंग यू ती जी मैं इट्स वेरी 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 basic mujhe i i have a very detailed itinerary for each or each of our trips okay the other thing other thing uh, you can do obviously is google docs and google sheet that is a common thing of sharing any information so you can do that too correct uh, okay. so definitely and then share i mean obviously everyone has access to that so that is another but it's not like a specific like the question was about specific app for itinerary i'm sure there right. is one i don't use it i, I use the regular notepad edit editable methods i mean okay आता स्पेसिफिक ट्रिप बदल तुझी इजिप्त की ट्रिप किती दिवसांची होती आणि यु नो किती दिवसांची क्रूज होती ओके सो सात सेवन डेज ऑफ इजिप्त ट्रिप हा आय स्टार्टेड इन आसवान इन आसवान एंड आय विल शेअर द डिटेल्स यु नो स्पेसिफिक डिटेल्स हु सेवर वॉन्ट्स इट बट स्टार्टेड इन आसवान विच इज साऊथ ऑफ इजिप्त i would say 7 to 8 days is good you can certainly if you have more time 10 days you can include alex i did not go to alexandria i wanted to go but i didn't have time i did not go to uh, suez canal i wanted to go i didn't have time so if you have 10 days you can include those two places but if you have about 6 7, 7 to 8 days you can do for about 4 days of nile cruise uh, including abu simbel and 2 uh, to 3 days in cairo okay perfect आणि पुढचा क्वेश्चन हा आहे आय थिंक दिस इज प्रॉब्ली वन ऑफ द लास्ट वन की हाउ डू यू प्लॅन युअर बुकिंग इयर बुकिंग और हाऊ डू यू प्लॅन युअर बुकिंग म्हणजे कंट्रीचं ग्रुपिंग कसा करता तुम्ही एनी एनी थॉट्स आर एनी कॉमेंट्स ऑन दॅट येस सो इट्स इंटरेस्टिंग सो देर इज नो वन रूल राईट सो sometimes it's a it's a very specific destination so ki mala ithe jaychay this is my this is my destination like egypt was one of those that we want to go to egypt sometimes it is deal based like i i think i mentioned on the presentation that i was just doing some ra- random research i keep doing my research on uh, on 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 deals and you know travel and i found this great deal of are uh, going to ireland okay uh, now that we are on that topic we are going to baltic cruise in summer right so it it covers those estonia that is that 2023 list estonia finland places where you will otherwise not really go normally right mm. mind boggling deal mind boggling deal now i think that's gone but if you are like for an, for a cruise if you are if you are if you are okay to stay in an interior room like the basic 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 everything basic on a cruise it was in it was free kids kids go free to up to 17 years so for a family of 3 we would have paid for 7 days of baltic cruise we were going to pay 1130 dollars or something can you imagine that wow. so it was deal based literally so the, this baltic is deal based we got a good deal we just grabbed it and we are just going for it so 
to answer your question, uh, sometimes it is very specific that I want to go here. Uh, like Iceland, we did that, that we want to, wanted to go to Iceland. Uh, Israel, I did. I wanted to go to Israel. But mm. uh, sometimes it is literally deals, deal based. Even Poland, I think I'll, I'll probably go. I am probably getting a good deal on Poland, so I might go there. But it is not because I wanted to go to Poland, but it because I'm able to go to Poland. And sometimes, there is an adventure in find, going to a new place. Correct. You know, that journey is the adventure or the destination yes. is the adventure. So, and like, let me add one thing. Bollywood does not uh, uh, tell me where to go. <laughs> 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 so, so when I go to, when I, in fact, I, I, sorry, when, when I went to Switzerland, I made sure, and that's why I specifically added that one, one slide where it Matter says unusual, unusual suspects and usual suspects, you know. Yeah. Definitely, because if you ask anyone, where did you go in Switzerland, you will get the same list of, I went to Mount Italis and I went to this and I went to that. Talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, there are so many other, we went to St. Moritz, no, no, barely any Indian goes there. We went to Matterhorn, beautiful place. I mean, I don't know why people do not go to Matterhorn. It is a beautiful place. Yeah. Uh, if you look at some of the pictures, just, just look up Matterhorn, you'll be blown away. But probably it is not authenticated by, by Bollywood. So we think it's not a good thing. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I, and I, sorry, uh, I know a lot of people were interested in probably getting some itineraries on this presentation. I could not do it because of lack of time. And it is kind of personal in the sense, you know, some people might have four days, some people might have eight days, some people might have 10 days. So there is no standard good itinerary. So if anyone has any specific itinerary related questions, I would be more than willing to help you. Uh, in whichever way I can for any specific itinerary that you're looking for based on your details, you know, when are you going, where are you going, how long you're going, what are your True. interests, what is your yeah. traveling party, etc, etc. Uh, I think that was one of the comments somebody had made, ki tumhi jema, one of the things to consider is your transit visa, you know, tumhara transit visa lagto ka or kai requirements at, around that, uh, because this family or this party suffered some problems with their flight or with their travel. Current transit visa required hota and they could not. Or, Correct. You know, so, something and that, that. Yeah. So that's exactly why I covered that specifically because it, it's a very small piece in the puzzle and most of the time it is covered, but when it is not covered, the entire puzzle is not solved, you know? So, so uh, each and every, even smallest of possible uh, places you're touching down, make sure that you know the visa requirements. In fact, once when we, we were not US citizens, it actually happened with us. We had, I think, a green, we had green card at that time. Uh, and uh, we were traveling from here to Rome, the same trip I was talking about earlier, but we had a stopover in London. So we, we, our first flight from here was to London. So when we went to the airport, that lady at the, at the uh, airline counter started asking us about London visa. And we didn't have, I mean, England visa, and we didn't have England visa, and, but we had done all our research. We actually, I think, had a, uh, uh, had a printout of the page from somewhere, which say, which we specifically mentioned that if you, if you have this and if you have this, then you don't need it. She, she started giving us hard time. We fought back and we asked her to get her uh, supervisor and then supervisor agreed with us and he let. It was such a stupid thing. You know, they didn't know the rules. So you have to be a little aware. So irrespective of what the what the halt is in between make sure you're on top of it yeah and uh only thing ek khub important post ke liye ki make sure you take hard copies of your passport and credit card karan haravla tar we yes. did have manje mala personally maiti hai ek mitra jo switzerland la gela ani tacha packet chori lagel passport vagare yes. sagla included including yes. phone so and it, I think we have we have probably mentioned it somewhere in the presentation. Uh, it is very important. Uh, uh, hard and so, hard copy and soft copy don't he? And not only that, even birth certificate in case of kids, because uh, many yeah, times. Tum right, ka kasha or no? <laughs> yeah, how will you prove right? Because you exactly. are going there and going because um, um, they, come, they, they went to Switzerland, they lost everything. They went to the U.S. consulate. The U.S. consulate said, "Okay, we'll give you the uh, the passport." They were U.S. citizens, but they had a, a daughter with them, and they said, "Okay, how about her?" And they didn't have any document which which say which said she is she. And then, but fortunately, she had it. Uh, I think on her phone or something, and they, it was easy. Again, minor thing you don't think about it, 
but it's all uh, yeah always always a good thing to have birth certificate of your kid with you just in case you know on the phone no harm just take a picture and keep it with you permission letter sometimes it happens like it happened to us again i mean i have stories about probably everything <laughs> very 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 weird very weird story you know i amruta i mean our three of us had gone to uh, portugal right and with our big friends group uh, big friends a uh, uh, big group rather friends and after the after that personal travel it was uh, amruta had some work in england so she was going to go to london and i and arya were going to come back here so, but we had uh, uh, the flights at the same time so we were at the airport at the same time we were at the counter at the same time immigration counter she was on one counter and i was at the other counter me and uh, arya was at the other counter amruta showed her passport and whatever ticket whatever she went out of that into the into the main area she was just walking there and this guy on this side where i was showing my papers he said where is the doctor's mother and i said why because i had all the details with me and all, i had all the papers with me she said he said no you guys came together in the country and you're not going out of the country together i don't even know whether there is anything like that as a rule or a law uh, but he said no i'm not going to give you the i mean i'm i'm not going to let you go and i said what are you talking about she was right here and how does it matter when when we leave the country right she he was giving me a hard time fortunately she amruta had just walked out so i actually went behind her like a movie scene hey, hey, hey come back come back come back and she came back and then i was like here this is daughter's mother <laughs> <laughs> and then he stamped it and you know he let us go so that has also happened so when you are so the point is if you are if you are a, you know one of the parents is traveling with the kid always a good idea to carry the permission letter or some kind of a copy which says okay i am so and so this is so and so i don't know how much it will help but it will not harm for sure yeah. wow manta manta 9:30 zale amazing amazing i'm so Jai. sorry about it na 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 that's okay mala asa vatta ki apan parat ek session kadi tari karu just to just stories with that you know unique <laughs> <laughs> amazing i mean i i would love to do that lot of topics i have not covered right so yeah. I, i don't mind doing that too or get into the details of some of this based on the feedback ani i am i'm open to doing that by the way so not a problem at all Definitely. and i hope i hope everyone like my background it is actual real background in my house <laughs> <laughs> app app for the travel uh, session so <laughs> nice nice um yeah definitely mandar mandar and amruta both you mean dogani manje तुमसे इंटरेस्टिंग एक्सपीरियंसेस यू नो वेरी रेलेवेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन एकदम प्रेजेंटेशन मध्य टाकून टॉकिंग अबाउट इट यू टच अपन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल गेन वैल्यू फ्रॉम इट सो थैंक यू वेरी मच यू नो मराठी विश्व कट्टा तर्फे जे को शेवपर्यंत थामले जे को थामू शकले नहीं पु नो मेजॉरिटी वे थाम सगना थैंक यू हा सेशन खूब इंटरेस्टिंग होता पुढ़ी सेशन जे ज्यादा तुम्हारा वेगे टॉपिक्स मिलते हैं मंदार अमृताला परत भेटू नक्की इन वन ऑफ द अपकमिंग सेमिनार्स एक सर्वे जाए सग प्लीज जैसे अटेन्ड के लिए प्लीज लेटस नो युअर फीडबैक आवड़ला नहीं आवड़ला तुम्हारा का यू नो इम्प्रूवमेंट्स पाजे यू नो वी कैन यूज दैट टू हेल्प अदर्स इम्प्रूव वी कैन इम्प्रूव अवर सेल सो लुकिंग फॉर्वर्ड टू सींग ऑल ऑफ यू on the next uh, mv katta event and he, like i said before ha video ata post hoil probably ek don divsat youtube var half speed madhe mandar cha bolna baka tumhala nakki sagle tips kaltil i'm extremely sorry about the are nahi 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 mi mi tula chidote mi tula chidote i don't know i mean uh, tula somebody say tuja tuja contact number dilel nahi hai nahi tar lok next trip la tulaj call karit exactly i you know what my mitra you know my, my friends do contact me and i try whichever way i i can help i do but this is such a public forum that i was little hesitant in doing that so uh, personally if somebody wants to reach out half of the people know me on the on the on this uh, call so they can obviously contact me directly those who don't know me can talk to ani and get my number or talk to mandar kelkar and get my number and if you want to directly reach me i am perfectly fine with that 
I and because this video was being recorded and put on YouTube, I was little, you know, hesitant yeah, on putting any personal information. That's the only reason. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to me on WhatsApp or on phone, and I would be more than happy to help whichever way I can. Yeah. So, so somebody, somebody had a question about the Baltic cruise. Uh -huh. I would suggest reach out to Mandar directly. You yes. know, that's a face, that Facebook page or now reach out. Kara, he can probably share that information. If it's still relevant, if not, he can give you some pointer, you know, on what else to find. Consent I YouTube word YouTube word consent. Absolutely. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. So thanks again, everybody. Uh, good night. Ani, hope to see you again soon. Yeah, bye. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.